Hi, I've just received this message from someone who called himself Johnny Parker. Johnny Parker would like me to create an MDAS program with select case in uh, Visual Basic. Okay, so let's give that a try. Let's go to 2010, Visual Basic 2010. If you have anything latest, you can always use that. Select program as new program. I'm just going to call that. Uh, make sure Windows Form application is se selected. Click on OK, and there we go. So I will now change the change my form to about 1,366 by 700. Click on OK. Now we add as follows. I like my screen to look a little bit decent. So let's enter some group box there. I'm going to need a couple of those, maybe five of those. Another one here, one down there, and I need two in the middle right there. One here. Move this down. And one more here. Let's close this. There, about that. Okay, move this one there. And this one here get some buttons there all right I now need as follows need three buttons right here one here two and three and I need a label the label here and one two three four I need five of those they I then need as follows Let's go for radio buttons. Radio button here. Two, three, four. So let's speed this up. Okay, right there, guys. This is how it's looking right now, but nothing is happening. If I run it, let's run it so you see how it looks like. Right there, that's how it's looking. So let's carry out some my uh, adjustment on it. Now select the label up there and change that to using select this there and right here we'll enter as follows enter first number and then we'll repeat exactly the same thing for the second one here enter second number that will be second number Try it out again. Enter second number. Okay. Let's just move this away. This here. Maybe realign it. Okay. And this will be use that for the result. This we now need to change this. Let's change the properties as follows to auto size force and more this time make that fixed single. Change the color. Let's change that to something white and just get rid of the text content in there. There, gone. And maybe delete this. I don't need that anymore. One, two, and three. That's enough. And the back color of this, let's change that to something totally different from this. Let me change that to, uh, let's go for, yeah, why not? And these ones, I intend to keep the color of this. Let's change that back to control. You need that to be control, really. That's it right there. You can see that control and press enter. So those colors are back to what they are. Okay, now we need to change the names of all these radio buttons. The first one, let's call that multiplication timetable. According to this guy, he said he wants it to be MDX so multiplication. Correct then followed by subtraction. 
position and MDSA. Okay, this is actually division. Let's just put down the division. Yeah, and this would be subtraction. MDAS, this would be addition, really. And this is subtraction. Right there. Now, this would be our, let's call that a result or answer. And this, we can call this reset. I will call this exit. So exit that will be, let's change that to BTN exit, BTN exit. Okay, and this one will be BTN, this will be BTN reset, BTN reset. That will be BTN answer, BTN. And we have this set ready. And this is resolved. So if we double click on this very first one, so that will be RB, RB mode, and this is RB, then RB odd, RB odd, RB sub. Double click on this very first one and come up here. You see where it says right underneath public class form. We're going to declare the following variable let's say ops deep operators as string and rb math. This one double click on it, just say operator itself ops equals speech map that would be multiplication and we're going to repeat the same thing for the race buttons for division repeat exactly the same thing that will be a division sign then we have addition change that to the plus sign then we have subtraction change that to subtraction sign there Okay, finally, we need to take care of the answer. So right there, we'll be using select, select case. So this is how you, you do that with Johnny. So you say select case, ops, press enter. And you now enter your first select case. In this case, that will be according to your design right here you have m d a s so that will be m which is multiplication place that in there and you then enter l b l results that's where you want to display your results dot text equals by value txt first number dot text close that plus by value Open a bracket txt second number dot text and that is all there is to it. That's for the plus sign. Copy this, paste it there, and this will be division. So, which means you have to change this to division, followed by the next one, which is addition. Change that to addition. This is multiplication and this one chain this the next one is subtraction chain that to subtraction right there so you also need a default so in this case let's say case else okay case else enter a message box there message box so if nothing is selected, we expect the end user to enter as follows. Okay, this message will pop up to the end user asking them to or asking the end user to select an operator. Select an operator. So 
comma, let's go for message. Um, let that just be information right there. So, and that is all there is to it. And right here, you, if you notice, you have you have end select. So if I save, let's save it and let's save it right there. That's fine. And just run the program right now. Click on run. And there we go. That's my program right there. So if you want to try this out and just make sure you select maybe addition, click and that's it. Let's say you go for multiplication. That is multiplication. If you go for subtraction, and that's it. You see, that is how the MDX selection statement works. One or two things left is just to take care of this. Let's take care of those now. Okay, we need, I might as well just copy, just double click on this. Double click on that and enter application dot exit. Dot exit. Now, resets. Double click on the reset button. Paste that there equals there and the next one is txt second number dot text equals there then the operators rb rb add dot check make that force equals force because we are resetting okay the next one is R B division make that force R B sub R B subtraction or multiplication there then we have R B sub there so that is my reset buttons then L B L result dot text equals Play. and that's how you will reset your that's how the reset button will work so let me show you guys the code again from select that's a select selection statement and if you take it from the top that's the variable declared and in each of the radio buttons that's the what the variable is the variable for plus uh, for multiplication for division the variable for plus the variable for subtraction I suppose you guys can see this code let me try and see if I can increase this increase the font size to maybe about 14 yeah okay I think you can now see it that's radio button ups multiplication radio button division radio button add radio button subtraction and right here if you double click on the, the command button btn add and right here i have this selection statement for any of the options that you selected right underneath here is the exit program or the exit code followed by the reset code from here down so let's go back to the interface now and just make sure the form is selected and come to where it says start position and change that to center center screen now run your program and that should get dead center for you and that is how you develop a select case in visual basic using mdas and that is it subtraction addition division and multiplication reset then reset works as expected exit exit is working as expected so that's it guys so with that i'm just going to call it the end of this program i suppose you you all enjoy it and johnny i suppose you enjoy it if you have any further questions please let me know johnny and thanks for, uh, for dropping me a line you have a nice day now johnny bye for now guys